Hi, I'm Paul and welcome to Zilla Cabs. Here at Zilla, we believe your tone doesn't just lie in your amp, your guitar and your pedals, but in the cab and speaker choice too. In this video, we're going to look at two iconic speakers. We're going to see how they contrast through various amp and gain settings, and then we're going to see how well they mix together. Before we kick things off with a nice classic rock track, I just want to say, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification icon. It helps us out massively and it helps us generate more content for you. If you've watched our previous video on the Vintage 30 versus Greenback, you probably notice a similarity in this video in that the main tonal difference between the two speakers lays mostly in the mid-range with the Vintage 30 coming across as slightly more aggressive. By this I mean the Vintage 30 clearly has a certain spikiness in the mid-range. Now to those who don't like that spikiness, the words they'll use are often things like harshness or fizz. But to those who do like the speaker, this can often be viewed as a useful tool. It will cut through a dirty mix. Now with the M cream back, I think you've probably heard that there's a general smoothness to it. This can often be seen as a certain deadening in the mid range, which means when contrasted to the Vintage 30, these two seem to be emphasized. But again, this can be quite a useful tool, especially when mixed together. Now, again, we've used a slightly provocative title in this, in this piece, but it's clear that there is a large crossover between these two speakers. We can use them for all sorts of different styles. Now, let's hear both these speakers in a lower gain setting. <laughs> probably noticed a running theme in our videos that you can't just look at the speaker without considering the cabinet that it's in. So let's take a quick look at our Studio Pro. That's the cab we've used for these recordings. To me, the Studio Pro is our all-rounder of the 2x12. It doesn't quite have the fullness or the thud of the oversized 212s and the 4x12s, but it sits in a really nice place between the 1x12s and 4x12s. The key feature of the Studio Pro is its three-piece back. Now, the cool thing about that is when it's open, it gives you a certain ambience that's more related to a combo. And then when it's closed, you get some of the thud and tightness in the low end that you would get from the larger oversizes and the 4x12s. Now, although a lot of you are here to listen to the heavier sounds, it's also important to consider the cleans too. So what we're going to do is we're going to listen to a slightly heavier track followed by a nice clean track.
we heard these two speakers compared against each other, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to how they sound when they're mixed together. We're gonna do this in an X pattern in our oversized 4x12. <laughs> Before we leave, I want to say a big thanks for watching these videos. I hope you enjoy them as much as we enjoy making them. I want to say a massive thanks to the guys that provided us with the tracks that we've reamped for these videos. They're Joss Allen, John Cordy, David Page and Tom Quayle. And as always, we'd love you to subscribe, leave us a comment and hit the notification icon so you get to see all our new videos. For the gear that we've used, as well as the technical specs on the speakers, hit the description below. And until next time, stay cool, hang tough, and riff hard. <laughs>